What's going on everyone? My name is Benny No and we are back with Benny No's Road to the Show. That's right, man. Loving it, baby. Right off the bat, we ground out to third. You gotta love that. <laughs> Wake up, start playing, you ground out to third. You gotta love that, baby. Daily videos every day at 10 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Pacific. Daily videos 10 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Pacific. So right off the bat, let's just start, guys. Today is my good friend Bobby Crosby's birthday. Yes, he's just, I'm not gonna say his age, I'll let him say that if he's gonna make a video about it. I'm not sure if he is, but I just wanna say, Bobby, I love you very much, man. Happy birthday. December 19th is his birthday, and um, Bobby and I are the same age, but he is actually like a little bit more than three months older than me, if I'm not mistaken. So he's about to turn a certain age, and then I'm gonna turn that same age in March. But man, so here we are playing in Arizona, and this is actually quite a funny story. The first time I ever went anywhere with Bobby Crosby was on a trip to Arizona back in 2000, I wanna say 16, I think it was, back in 2015 or 16, or it might've even been, no, it was 15 or 16, I can't remember, it might've been 15. But uh, we took a trip to Arizona to go see the Diamondbacks play. And a funny, bunch of funny things happened, but the one thing that I vividly remember the most, other than a home run going into the pool was, when Bobby and I were driving from California to Arizona, is that gone? Is that in the pool? Way back, ball off the wall, darn it. All right, that, I'm gonna go for three, man, why not? He's barely getting the ball, Benny No, putting on the blazing speed, and he's out. So anyway, we get, we're driving from California to Arizona, and we get pulled over by a cop. Now, I can't, Bobby at the time had like a blue Chevy truck of some sort. So we weren't like in an outrageous vehicle or anything like that. I'm gonna tell you what happens after this. We usually play two or three games in this video, in these videos, and I'll tell you what happened when we get to the next game right now. Okay, baby, here we go. Second game in this video. Looks like I'm going up against Zach Ranky. And uh, let's see if I can actually hit a home run. There's a rip to center though. That's at least a double. And I'll take that. I, I forgot, did I even get a hit in the last, last uh, video? I'm not even sure. In the last game, I'm not sure. Anyway. Um, oh, there's lumpies, there's lumpies. There's something you want to say real quick to our good friend, come here, to our good friend Bobby Crosby? Mm -hmm. What do you want to say, my man? Happy birthday, Bobby. <laughs> Anything else? No. No? We love you, Bobby. That's what I think he was trying to get out. All right, my man, go back to practicing your bat real quick while I finish this video. So, okay, here we go. So, Bobby and I get pulled over by a cop, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, we were trying to get to, oh is that gone is that is that an oppo shot eventually i'll get to the Dark. story nope it's a double uh oh yeah it's definitely a double so we get pulled over if i remember correctly we were getting to arizona to a game that same day so we were trying to get there in a hurry and bobby may have been speeding i'm not sure we weren't going super fast or anything but nonetheless we got pulled over by a cop and um what i remember most vividly was uh you know we're both nervous in the car not because we were doing anything illegal or anything but it's just every time you get stop by a cop it's just nerve-wracking i don't know how to explain it if you've ever had a cop follow you while you were driving it is a very nervous experience i mean it makes you no i don't think so it's caught it makes you feel kind of nerve-wracking so anyway the cop comes up he talks to us he can sense we're a little nervous and he asks us a question i'll never forget i'll, I'll never forget this he literally asked bobby and i if we had any weapons of mass destruction in our vehicle. And we look at each other like, man, I don't wanna laugh, you know, because I'm sure this cop is really in a, is, you know, when you get a visit from a cop, it's serious, it's not funny. That's gone. Way back, left field. Boom, off. 435, come on, for Bob, 415. Darn it, we were off by 20, man. Okay, look, if you're gonna watch, you gotta stay in the camera, man, because no one wants to see, like, a spot of you right here. Actually, come stand over here. It'd probably be better if you come stand over here. All right, so, weapons of mass destruction. I mean, obviously, we didn't have anything like that. Um, there was nothing in the car. We were going to, I think the only thing in Bobby's car at the time, because he was on this amazing strict diet, was water and cashews. I think that was like all he was eating that whole weekend was was just drinking water and cashews, if I remember correctly. So, um, oh, back to back. Is that a pull shot? Come on, in the pool? Or it's over the pool? It's way over the pool. Wow, 430 feet. That's 430 at least. Oh, 436, I was off. Let's take a look at that replay real quick. And um, yeah, so 
oh man, yeah, we obviously didn't have any weapons of mass destruction in the car. It was the, after after the cop asked us too he's like you know why are you guys so nervous and bobby's just like well i mean i just don't like getting pulled over who likes getting pulled over you know don't get me wrong cops are awesome they they uh they serve and protect us but i don't want to see a cop unless you know i need help <laughs> and uh before i didn't need help in that moment and uh um, yeah unfortunately we got pulled over nothing happened the cop was actually super cool afterwards he's like okay you guys just slow down up ahead. There's a rookie cop. He's looking to write tickets, so just be super cautious. And that was actually nice of him. We did run into that other rookie cop. I guess he was a rookie. We just kind of passed him by, and, you know, we were not speeding, so we had no visit from him. But it was an interesting start to our first visit uh, together. And, uh, man, it was awesome. Let's play another game. All right, baby, just to finish off what I was talking about in the last game, uh, after the incident with the police, uh, we had a great time in Arizona. Watched the Dodgers beat. The Diamondbacks a couple times if I'm not mistaken. I think we stayed for two games and came back on a Sunday I can't remember if we actually stayed for that Sunday game or came back. I'm not sure But yeah, it was a good time man. I got a bunch of other stories about Bobby Crosby that are hilarious That is off. Oh, that was caught man. All right. Well the first time I met Bobby Crosby I'm sure you guys are interested to hear about that 2012 is when I first met Bobby Crosby at Dodger Stadium um, I had been a season ticket. I got season tickets in August of 2012 and uh, I remember I, I was a huge fan of Dodger films I, at the time You know Bobby was filming at the games and uh, I remember like to me those were like the greatest videos ever on YouTube um, But yeah, I met him 2012 uh, I actually went to one of the games and he was there and uh, he was downstairs in the old pavilion um, it's kind of different now, so when I say old pavilion, it was a lot different back then. Uh, bathrooms were located different, and it wasn't as nice as it is now. But he was down there putting ketchup or something on his hot dog, and I was like, hey man, I know that guy, that's Bobby Crosby. Hey, what's up, Bobby? My name's Benny, and he's, you know, he's looking at his food, and he just, he's like, oh, hey man. And that was it. <laughs> that was Bobby's, like, first interaction with me. Uh, we didn't talk again for, you know, about a week or so. <clears throat> um... He's, oh, that's gone. That's blasted. Wow, that is gone. Oh, 425. 425. 414. Darn it, man. We'll take a look at this replay as I explain. That after a week or so of, uh, you know, come just saying hi to him and all that, he started noticing that I was catching a lot of baseballs in batting practice. So that kind of spurred him to come talk to me. And then after that, we hit it off like, like best friends. And we've been good friends ever since. And yeah, now, uh, now he doesn't ignore me. <laughs> so that's, that's that, was, that was the first time I met Bobby. I don't remember exactly when it was, but it was sometime in 2012 before the season ended. So it had to be September, October, at some, at some something like that. Um, man, yeah, I've got, I've got so many stories about Bobby. I just can't, I can't, I mean, it's hard to, th to, to pinpoint out, to, to talk about one. Okay, so man, recently, <laughs> Bobby and, oh, come on, hit a home run. Come on, get out. Back to back, come on! Ball off the wall, darn it! Come on, let's see if we can. Yeah, I'm gonna get to third, no problem. Come on, boom! I might have no, I couldn't have been in an inside Parker, baby. But that was awesome. What is that? Sixth inning, triple. I can't even see. Ten, tenth triple, man. I'm, I'm so much equipment in my way, it's hard to see. So, yeah, okay. So let, let's see if we can get one more story about Mr. Crosby in. If I'm gonna get another at bat, okay, here we go, man. All right. Um. <laughs> this one's kind of personal, but I'm gonna talk to you guys anyway. Uh, one day, Bobby and I were at his house, and uh, I can't remember if it was a softball gathering or what exactly we were doing there, but uh, we were celebrating something. And um, I remember Bobby, who uh, who doesn't uh, doesn't drink alcohol at all. Um, the people that were there, me, we decided, hey, let's go get an expensive bottle to celebrate uh, whatever, I can't remember what we were celebrating, we were celebrating something awesome, but for whatever reason, Bobby, who never uh, who never drinks alcohol, we took, we all took a drink of this really expensive alcohol, <laughs> and um, all I remember was I was, uh, I felt the effects of the drinks, and uh, next thing you know, I'm hugging, I'm giving Bobby kisses on his cheek, <laughs> oh, someone's got footage and film of that somewhere, I would love to see that, so, last story about Bobby I think that's hilarious you guys happy birthday don't forget to go to his channel and wish him a happy birthday or go to his Instagram and wish him 
uh, happy birthday. It's either Bobby Crosby or Dodger Films. One of those two. Go check it out. I love you, my man. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you soon. The rest of you guys, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.